Hey everybody, welcome back to 8-Byte. Sorry I missed you last week, I was doing a mad dash to get those costumes finished, and I gotta say, they turned out pretty nice. Uh, my friend Jess was a female version of Shredder from the old Turtles cartoon, and then her husband, my streaming partner, uh, he was Bebop from the old cartoon, and I was Rocksteady. And it was, it was a lot of fun, good convention, met Leah Thompson, can't get a smile off my face, and it went really well. But now that that's over, it's time to get back to the food. So, tomorrow is my coworker's birthday, and I'm going to make him a dessert. Uh, he picked out some of the elements of it, so I'm going to put them together and make it for him. He's had it before. His last name is Spone, so he wants it to be called the Sponer. And uh, it's like a pie, but a little bit more in-depth. So I'm going to break it down and start with the crust, then the filling, and then the topping. So here's what you need for the crust. One and a quarter cups of ground graham cracker crumbs. You can either crush it yourself, or I'm using a box, graham cracker crumbs. Half a cup of pretzel dust crushed powder, I don't know. I put that into a food processor and turned it into this very fine powder, and that's pretzel. Then you'll need a third cup of melted butter, and then an eighth of a cup or two tablespoons of granulated sugar. All right, so to make the crust, it's really simple. You take your graham cracker crumbs, and you add your pretzel to it, and you add your sugar. Then you give that a quick little stir just to combine it up. Then you add your melted butter in there. And you mix that together. Alright, so you want to mix it up so it looks about this. It's a little darker in color, and it's kind of crumbly, but it holds together still. And that's what you want it to look like. So from there, what you're going to need, I forgot to mention this, sorry, is a pan to put it in. So either a glass pie pan, or a foil disposable one. I've got one of those right now. So you put your crust down into it. Now this is going to make more than just one pie, so you're just going to add some in there. Hands come into play now. Mash it down. Press it up the sides, up the sides. And you have your crust. Really simple, really quick, really tasty. The pretzel adds a nice saltiness to it. So that's delicious. As you can see though, I've got more crumbs. I did that so that way I could make myself some little tarts. And if you want to make a whole nother pie, this might be enough to make a whole nother pie shell, but I'm just going to do a couple little ones right now. Or you can always just wrap it up and save it for another day. It's just butter, sugar, pretzel, and graham cracker crumbs, so it can last a little while on the fridge. And that one's good. So now we have our little pies plus our big pie. And there's the crust. Really simple, really quick, really tasty. And there you go. Alright, so for the filling of this pie type thing, it's a milk chocolate mousse. And that's got a little bit more to it. So here's what you're going to need for that. Three mixing bowls. Six ounces of milk chocolate. These are, these are just chocolate chips. Um, two and a half tablespoons of butter, which if you use one whole stick to get the one third cup for the crust, this is how much is left over, so it works out perfect. Then you're gonna need a pint or two cups of heavy whipping cream, two teaspoons of sugar, and two eggs. All right, so the first step is to melt the chocolate with the butter. So just add the butter to the chocolate and you can melt it either over a double boiler, bain-marie type of thing, or just put it in the microwave. Do 20 seconds at a time, stir it after each round, and keep going until it melts together, but don't do it too much or else the chocolate could burn. Alright, so the next step is your whipping cream. Simply pour the cream into a bowl, whip it to medium peaks, but don't add sugar because uh, it's going to be a sweet pie already as it is. So just whip it to medium peaks and then let it sit off to the side. Alright, so this next step is the most tricky, but it's not that bad, it just takes a little more time. What you're going to do 
is mix your eggs with your sugar and put that into your third mixing bowl and whisk it constantly, that's important, constantly, over a pan of simmering water. It takes, I don't know, five, six minutes, but you want the egg mixture to reach about 145 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't whisk it constantly, you'll end up with scrambled eggs on the bottom of your bowl, and that's not good. So once your egg mixture reaches 145 degrees, take it off the heat, and you're gonna pour it into your chocolate mixture. But make sure you have a strainer in place to catch any of the egg that might have cooked into actual egg. And you wanna use a hand mixer, or a stand mixer works just as fine. And you're gonna mix it together until it becomes nice and velvety and like pudding like texture. Once it's there, take half of your uh, whipping cream and put that into the center of your chocolate mixture and fold it in. So cut into the center and fold out the edge. Cut in, fold, keep turning the bowl until it's nice and combined to a light chocolate color. Now that the filling is all put together finally, it's time to add it to the crust. So you're gonna pour it into the crust up to about, I don't know, three quarters of the way full because if you go too high, it'll just seep out once you add the topping, which is whipped as well. So for the top of this pie, it's going to be a cinnamon marshmallow whip. And what you'll need for that is the extra half of the whipped cream you have from earlier, about half a cup of marshmallow fluff, a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, and then about a half a cup of toasted coconut. So the coconut goes off to the side, and then you're going to add your fluff to the whipped cream and mix that together till it's well combined. Then you're gonna add in the cinnamon and mix that till it's well combined, and that's the top of the pie. So you're gonna put that on your pie, and then once it's on there, you're gonna garnish it with your toasted coconut. And here you have the spawner. Now it's best to let it sit in the fridge overnight, or, you know, if you can't wait, let it sit for at least a couple hours, two, three, maybe four, just so it comes together and holds together nicely. But overnight would be best. So there you have the spawner. A graham cracker pretzel crust with a milk chocolate mousse, cinnamon marshmallow whip with toasted coconut on top. Which reminds me, the toasted coconut, you can just buy flaked coconut at the store, the sweetened kind, and put that on a parchment paper that's on a baking pan, put it in the oven for like 5 minutes at 350, and it should come out just right. So that's the top of the pie, that's the pie in general, can't wait for my coworker to try it tomorrow, and I think I'll bring one of those tarts to our stream tonight. So if you want to see Chris and myself try it out, uh, you can jo join us tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and it'll be twitch.tv slash 8 underscore bit underscore video underscore games. I'll have a link there as well. I'm Beat, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a good one. Bye!